hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel today's just is on yesterday bakari and happy bat jinad aside from the fact that they are colleagues in the nollywood industry and the same contemporary well Omar jinad called out yesterday bakari to desist from spoiling her name in front of her helpers Omar jinad went to address the whole situation saying she's had enough she's had it up to here and that she has been hearing too many rumors about her although it may not be out there to everyone the general public but within the industry there have been so many things about her she said the icing on the cake was when Yetunde Bakari about four years ago said something about her and that thing keeps coming back even until now and that's what they say about rumor it spreads like wildfire four years ago and that same thing Yetunde Bakari said about Happy Bats Jinad is still hunting her till now. She went ahead to plead with everyone, both her colleagues, both Yetini Bakari and every other person who she decided not to mention their names, that they should please just leave her alone. She wants to leave and be a life for her son. She's one woman who always tries as much as possible to share her stories, most especially in any movie she produces, explaining the things she's been through, the battles she's fought and won, and still standing today. Well, they say for every action, there is always a reaction. And the reaction from Yutine Bakari was that she said something about Habibat Jinad and she went ahead to explain her own side of the story to her, saying that she didn't say it in a terrible way. And after that, they've both patronized each other's businesses. And now she's wondering why Omar Jinad is coming now to say something like this about her. And that if she's having any problem in the industry, it definitely not coming from her own side. As she doesn't know people in the industry like that. She doesn't know people who know Abibat Jinad. And even if she does, she doesn't have so much friends in the industry. So to think and to say that she, Yetine Bakari, has been going about saying things about her to producers or director is a no-no. And if she's trying in her own ways to gather pity fans and start a pity party just to create enemies on social media for her, she's not going to take that and that's a fact. So now, considering the two sides of the story, yes, Abibat Jinad claims that the things that Yetine Bakari had once said about her is still hunting her and is still going around the industry and that comes up every single time a matter comes up. Happy Bad Jinad had said she has forgiven Yetine Bakari all years ago quite all right but it still keeps coming back and people are saying some people are saying she needed not to bring it up since she said she has forgiven her and they both patronized each other and they call each other they know each other they talk a lot and on Yetine's side as well a lot of people have said so many things about her in fact the remarks in the comment section about yetine bakari is nothing to write home about surprisingly a lot of people have opinions about yetine bakari saying she's not so much of a good person and she's always saying terrible things about her colleagues in the nollywood industry of which people are not saying the same thing about happy bad jinad rather people are saying she's quite a peaceful person compared to yetine bakari yetine bakari is popularly known in the comment section of the popular blogger called Tunde Ednot. She is said to always comment right under the post of Tunde Ednot until Tunde Ednot blocked her totally and she's unable to comment and saying different things about her colleague. Well, here are some of the things people said in the comment section about Yetini Bakari. A user said, I don't like that lady called Yetini Bakari. She always wants to be seen as the best in the world, always saying shit about her colleagues like she knows it all and always trying to shade some of her colleagues to be successful. You don't need ITK. Now she know colleague we bleach their skin. Now she know colleague where they do Udraye. Now she know the one where they do Olosho and the ones we get pride. Why not do your own thing and leave others to do theirs? Now she go day party, they look for who she greeted that snob her. People like that are bad people. They are called moralists. People that think they are better than everyone. Another user said that Yetine Bakari is an unfortunate person. I could remember she blocked me one time because I spoke the truth in one comment section like that. I was so happy her account was disabled quite after and she opened another account and I made sure to block her from here. Another user said Yetunde Bakari na snitch. I swear I just don't like her. God please help. 
another user said that yet nebakari na societal menace normally commenters of the century always everywhere another user said that yeye girl with a rights name of noisemaker for tundi page another user said confirm i swear you just spoke my mind commenter ye another user said thank god for speaking and she called the name of people always respect people's mental health another user said that yetini bakari is something else always doing too much today at not first born another user said yetini bakari always doing too much this and several other comments were filled in the comment section of habibat jinad Yetini Bakari's page and also the blogger called Instablog. And most of it are not positive reviews at all. Well, this is not the first time and it's quite a normal thing in the industry. In fact, outside the industry, the world we are in, people go about saying terrible things about each other. Well, in my opinion, if someone comes to you, tell you something terrible about another person, try to verify or call the two of them together and ask what exactly their differences may be for one person to be saying such a terrible thing about the other well guys let's share your opinion do not forget to like subscribe drop a comment in the comment section below thank you bye